Welcome everyone to Mina Gaming Association Minecraft Week, episode 4 of 4. We start off this video at a nice little place, has a nice little sign, said leave this place or perish. So I'll do the natural thing and walk in. You do the same thing, you know it. If the door will let me in. Anyway, got this little tiny devil worship, satanic room, whatever you want to call it. Um, I built it, just messing around. It's got switch, turns the floor on and off. And I guess I'll go ahead and hop into the portal. Because if you're in a satanic room, naturally you jump into what probably is the freakiest thing in the room. Slowly going to the nether. Now this video is featuring everything else that didn't fit into the other videos. So some of the stuff might have fit into them. Um, for example, the nether fort, I guess it could have been a house, I don't know. Um, this nether fort, it's made out of bedrock. It has little deals shoot arrows. And this was made by Link Greed from PlanetMinecraft.com. This is one of the few things that wasn't made by a Mina Gaming Association member that I'm going to be highlighting in any of these videos. And that's just because I liked it. It was a cool little gateway from place to place. Anyway, I'll go ahead and head back through here, and it'll load up the world again. And we're going to come out here. Here we are at the Flaming Cloud Temple. Once again, something that I built. I was bored. I was messing around. And I figured may as well build some place freaky to have the portal connect to. And, well, a giant Flaming Cloud Temple worked. Now for the polar opposite. We just came from a satanic ruin. Now we're at a cathedral. This cathedral was built by Icy Soul Reaper, who some of you know as Chaz, from the Mina Gaming Association Orders Pizza and the A Minute with Chaz videos. Anyway, um, really high roof in here, and just a little altar. It's got some crosses. I love glowstone just for the way it looks at night. And I happen to get here while it was nighttime, which adds to it. You can see the pews and everything. It's a pretty cool little building. Okay, this is Randolini's Archway. It's nothing more than an arch built by Randall when I asked him to build something on the server. So there you go. This airport was built by Offy on mcschematics.com. Now, I wasn't going to feature it, but I got sent an airplane and figured might as well. He went into a lot of detail with this. He has the check-in booths. He has over here the magazine stand, bookstore. Um, and then he's got... Go ahead and head. I'll go over here first. He's got security... You know, take off all metal objects. I'm still going to carry my minecart through. I don't care. Go up here. He's got a bar. A bunch of different little shops. Go ahead down here. He's gate four. All the gates are numbered. Um, it'd be really cool. You know, have a nice flight. Naturally, there's not a plane right out here. It didn't come with one. But there is a plane to see, and I'll go over there now. And as soon as I get over here... I'll go ahead and stop recording and let it load up a little bit where you'll be able to see the plane. Otherwise, I'll just be staring off for a long time. So there's the plane. The plane was built by Neo 
one two three four two five one. Um, also known as Carl. You can't get to the plane. It's like that boat from an episode or two back. But it's just a really cool little effect that I decided to add to make it be in the air. Because I think the airport would have been too small for it. Um, I'll go ahead and head over here. And I'll actually see if I can see it from the flight tower. Go ahead and close the door behind me. Okay. Strictly no entry. Supposed to be, you know, staff only kind of thing. Just like in any airport. I'll go ahead and head up here. Try not to fall down. And here we are. I guess the guys like to read a lot. That's all there is. And let's see. I'll wait a little bit. I'll fast forward. Nope. Oh, guess can't see it from here, unfortunately. That would have been kind of cool. I didn't think to look at that first, but oh well. Anyway, I'll head back down. And I guess that's all there is, Roy, to see at Offie's Airport. The place I'm heading now probably could have been considered a house and could have been on that video. It's the Arctic Cove. I didn't put it on the house video because it's supposed to be more than just a house. It just never got completed. Um, I actually planned to branch off it a lot and to go ahead and make it a huge underwater mini city or, you know, something like that. It just never happened. What I'm about to pass over right now is Reed's Crater. Reed is a friend of the Mina Gaming Association who played on our server, built a house, and then when she was done playing on the server, filled it with dynamite, and blew it all to hell. And that's how Reed's Crater was formed. Right now we are looking at what I call Rainbow Road. It's basically just a giant wool rainbow that I got bored one day and decided to make. And yeah, the final creation we are going to highlight wasn't made by anyone in the MGA. It was made by Crafty Salatus, I think I'm pronouncing that right, from mcschematics.com, and it is Madison Square Garden. It took him over a month to build. It's 52 blocks high, 149 long, 124 wide. It's made of cobblestone, dirt, half blocks, glass, and a lot more. It has full stands, concourses, suites, a skywalk. Um, his friends Perito, Worm Dragon, and V Void helped. I personally converted in, into a wrestling arena. Now, um, yeah, just recommended for graphics. This thing was awarded the Features I'd, Featured Item Award and the High Roller Award from MC Schematics. So this is a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and turn my graphics up all the way. And I'm going to be lagging, but this way you can see everything. Now I'll go ahead and head around here. When I got it as a schematic, the road wasn't completed all the way around it. So I went ahead and did that just to have it done. Anyway, I'll go ahead and head inside. Oops, close. Okay, concourses 233. Three. There's no way that I can highlight everything in this building. So I'm just going to do my best. I'm going to go straight up to the roof and look down and try to focus a little more on what 
I worked on instead of the whole arena as a, as a whole, obviously. Um, if you want to look at more of it, I urge you, find the videos that this guy made. He has it on YouTube. His name's Saladus. Um, S-A-U... Or S-A-L-A-D-U-S. And really, I urge you, it's just amazing. You can kind of see down. I'll go ahead and fall in. Ow. All right. First of all, it looks amazing at night. I don't even like the place during the day, but at night it looks really cool and lit up. I built a wrestling ring. For those of you who know me, you're not surprised. Um, I'll go ahead and head out here. And like I said, it's 52 blocks high. So it's going to take me a little while to get all the way up here, but I'm going to go up into the nosebleeds and look down at the place. Almost there. I'm kind of tempted to edit out my voice and just put some rocky music, you know, and then once I make it to the top, but nah. Alright, there you go. You can see down. You can see the roof all the way around it. It really is just a amazing build. And yeah, it took him over a month to build it. I'm nowhere near surprised. I'm I actually think it probably should have taken a little longer. Go ahead and head in here. The backstage area I built just for you know, darken it a little bit from the arena itself. And I'll head this way. And I guess I'll go ahead and head out. Um, I hope you enjoyed Mina Gaming Association Minecraft Week. Um, hope you liked our videos, favorited them, you know, give us a good rep, all that stuff. And, you know, we, as always, we love to hear your feedback, so look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching. Damn minecarts.